Scotland, the name of an island in the Baltic Sea, very close to St. Petersburg, Russia. This island separates the Neva Bay from the rest of the Gulf and is home to the fortified city of Kronstadt. Doesn't sound very related to programming, does it? But programming languages need to be named after islands, right? Kotlin is a modern JVM language created by JetBrains that was initially promoted as the successor of Java. So a new island came to replace an old one? Interesting. The language is cataloged as an OSS statically typed programming language that targets the JVM, Android, JavaScript, and native. So it intends to be multi-platform. The project started in 2010, but didn't see its first official release until February 2016, because designing and developing a language takes a long time. Kotlin came after so many years of Java dominance over other JVM languages. Its aim was to reduce the amount of boilerplate required to write programs, achieving more idiomatic and concise code bases. The JetBrains team included modern features that would also help to unlock newer paradigms like the functional programming one. And Kotlin came here to stay. In 2016, Kotlin was announced as the official language for Android by Google, which was unexpected by everybody and made it take a huge leap forward. The whole Android community had been hearing about the language for a long time, and some brave engineers were already using it in the open, but most people were still a bit hesitant. This announcement was widely embraced, as it supposed a major upgrade for the Android community and secured Kotlin an important place in the future of the platform. Along with Android, other platforms started embracing Kotlin as one of their main languages, adding first-class Kotlin support to some major and very relevant frameworks like Spring. Other frameworks like Ktor by JetBrains were also brought to the table, creating a nice ecosystem for back-end development using the language. JetBrains really aimed to cover both client and server-side development worlds with their language. Today, Kotlin is one of the healthiest languages out there, and its future is bright. That's why we're starting a journey today to master the language.